This lesson is just going to cover um, some of the simpler ways of changing the weightings for your grades in the gradebook in a, in a course. Um, whether you've developed the course yourself or um, you've got elsewhere, if you uh, have it from someone else that's developed the course, the weightings are probably already set up, but that doesn't mean that they're um, weighted the way you want them to, so you should always check. So to do that, just um, go into the course, go into your gradebook, which is on the side here, and you'll see some grades here. Uh, to, to change the uh, categories or, or items or rearrange things, you go into categories and items. That's where we're going to see the how things are weighted. And you can see that um, there's you know, different things here. Now I'm going to turn on the full view so you're going to see a few extra little columns here. And um, we're not going to cover everything here, but there's some things that are important. And notice that there are little question marks here, so if you want to go in and uh, you know see what an aggregation means, then you just click on there and some pretty good help there. And actually I'm going to come back to that. So. Okay, so we have some columns here, and I'll just cover kind of what the main ones are that you're going to be worried about. Um, aggregation, that just means how are you going to um, add up all the different things below you. Are you going to, uh, you know, just add up a raw score, are you going to weight the means, etc. I'll, I'll cover that. This will, of course, be the weight of whatever category of, of marks you have. And then there's all sorts of things, extra credit, maximum grades, etc., etc. But <clears throat> a couple of things to um, note here, actually one thing in particular is this aggregate only non-empty grades. Now what does that mean? Notice that this box here is ticked. What it means is, and this box is unticked. So um, what that means, aggregate only non-empty grades, is that um, right now if that box is not ticked, that means that as people start doing these assignments in this category here, for instance, um, the average mark for that category will include everything, including the ones that there's no marks for. So, for instance, if they got 100% um, on the first assignment, their total mark in, when they look at their marks is going to be um, like 14% overall because there's, they're adding zeros in here. They're counting the... the um, the empty grade thing. So uh, probably um, most teachers will want to tick that box, okay, so that um, only the non-empty grades will be counted. So as the student goes through the course, they'll see what their average is up to that point. Now, um, when you, and I'll just make sure that all these little boxes are ticked then. Uh, Mondo tests, I'll make sure we get that one. So all the and what, once you make a change, of course, make sure that you save the change down here because it's pretty easy when you're doing this to forget to do the save change thing. Okay, now the um, next thing to do here is um, we want to decide what kind of weightings we are, but there's a, a couple of a little things just to kind of note here. This aggregation, that just means how you're going to add things up. And you can see there's a mean of grades, there's a weighted mean of grades, there's a simple weighted mean of grades, there's you know, and on and on and on, extra credits, medians, modes. Um, the ones that you're probably going to want to use is just a simple mean, or sorry, a mean of grades and a weighted mean of grades. The simple weighted mean of grades, even though it's used in this course, is a little bit tricky. And I'm going to show you um, why. Uh, if you look again, if we, if we, you know, tick on that little um, different things. And you can see what happens with the mean of grades is they simply they, they take every um, assignment and they get a percent out of it. So 70 percent, 80 out of 20 is 25 percent. And um, they just add them up and then divide by the number of assignments. So overall here that person has got 65 percent if you use a mean of grades. Now the weighted mean, um, you, this is where you might want you know, different categories of the mean weight or, or different assignments to mean more. So in this case here, um, they find the percentage of whatever the grade is, 70%, but there's a weight of 10 here. So then um, you're only going to get 10 marks total for that assignment. You have five marks for this one, three marks for that one. So it's out of 18 because of the weights here. And you can see that um, in, overall you're going to get 62.5% as opposed to 65 there. Now those are typically what you want to do. Either you want to do like a, a you know just a, a simple average or a straight average 
or you want to weight things. Now, um, where it gets a little bit complicated is the simple weighted mean. And I've seen this used in a lot of courses, and it's really easy to make mistakes with it, so I would avoid it if at all possible. Um, what happens here is that the whatever the assignment or test is out of, that assignment gets weighted for that. Now, sometimes you want to do that. So, for instance, in this case here, you can see that um, they've got 70%. It's out of 100, so they're going to get 70 marks here. Um, in this case here, they've got 25%, but it's out of 80, so they're going to actually get those 20 marks. In other words, whatever the assignment's out of, that's what, it, what um, you're going to get. So the three assignments here, we've got 100, we've got 80, and we've got 10. So when we add that up, we see that it's out of 109. And um, whatever the raw score is, really, that's kind of what you get. So when, when you do that, um, this assignment here is only worth 10 marks total. And so even though you got 100% on it, um, it's only worth 10 marks. And so, you, you know, the overall score is going to be 52.6% here because of those kind of internal weightings. And, and it may be that that's what you want, but quite often you'll have, um, uh, you know, assignments worth slightly different amounts, um, for instance, and but you want them to count the same. So in that case, we would just use the, the, the weighted mean or just the mean. Um, of grades. Um, the simple way it means um, you can, it's a little bit tricky, so, and I'll just show you where that kind of um, uh, comes in here. So, I'll just show you, like, they're using simply weighted means here, and you can see that um, in this case here, all the assignments are out of 100, so really um, nothing's going to be weighted any different from anything else. So, really, that's just a weighted mean of grades, it'll give you exactly the same score, but they chose simple weighted means. Now, so it wouldn't have made any difference in that person's, you know, total marks, which way you go there, but in the next one, the quizzes, they made a little mistake. There's, um, I think there's 25 little five mark quizzes in this course, and you can see they're all out of five, that's, that's fine, but oh, look at this. Here they decided to make you know, make them out of 100. So, so as they were going through the course, they switched from just a raw score kind of total to a uh, percent total. So these two quizzes here, even though there's only five questions in them, just like every other quiz, they're going to count for 100 marks. And so um, I think all the quizzes, if you add them up, like there's like 25 of them or something like that. So um, 25 times five. So it should be out of 125, but it's going to be out of like 300 and 15 or something like that, and these two here are going to count for worth 100 marks. So that this st a student could go through the course and, and theoretically get zero on, on like 23 quizzes, and then these two get five out of five and five out of five, and they'll get a very high mark um, just because they're weighted differently. So, so that little mistake um, really makes a big difference. So, but how do you fix it? Well, you can go back and change those to five what out of being out of five, or you can just change this to a mean of grades, and then everything counts the same, you're just averaging whatever it, it's out of. Yes, in, in, in our conclusion, uh, like uh, the, the, the two that you want to really use are either going to be, what you either want to weight things or you don't want to weight them. So the first two things on the, on the, the list that you have there. Now, um, how do you change them? Um, let's just say that this here wanted to be, being said we're being worth um, 20, you want to have 40. So let's do this out of 40. So again, it's just as simple as changing the number there. And then don't forget that um, we haven't saved it yet. So we're going to save that. And that's about all there is to it. Now, there may be some things that you, um, you know, want to change um, part from the way. Perhaps you don't want certain things to count. Um, like in this course here, there were some forms and some marks in them. but they were actually turned off in the course, but they're still in the um, in the grade book. So um, you can hide them by, of course, clicking the little, you know, individually, like the little eye icon there. Or you can just click the eye icon for the whole category, and then they won't show up in the grade book. Now, I, I could have deleted those two, I guess, but um, I really have to delete them from the course, and it's, it's good to keep things in case you want to use them later on. Now, notice, though, that um, we still have this being weighted 10%, so even though I've hidden that category, um, you know, if, if um, somehow you forgot to hide them in the course, 
those marks would still flow through and, and the weightings will get affected by it. So we should probably change that to zero and then we'll save that. Now there's, there's more that you can do here, but basically um, when you're done, uh, the, the weighted mean of grades should be chosen for the course and um, all the um, categories then will, you know, will, will be mean of grades. And uh, it's a good idea with the weights to make sure that they have 100% just because people kind of think in terms of percent, 100%. And then finally, um, make sure that the aggregate only non-empty grades thing is, um, is ticked um, all the way through. And um, that's about it. Hope that helps.